looking for a contemporary family home in waterfall country estate? Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. With me is Marusha from Luxlive Property Group, who's going to take us on a tour of this gorgeous home. As always, specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, six bathroom, four garage home. And guys, you're going to love this. Marusha. Thank you very much. Well, I certainly love this house and it ticks all my boxes and I dare say it will probably tick most people's boxes. From the four garages, we're going to have a look at these garages shortly. The house was recently built. It is furnished, but it's been unlived in. So it is a brand new house for all the purposes of whoever wants to move into this house. And it was built by an engineer with engineering precision for quality, beautiful lines, symmetry and everything else. So without further ado, let's go in before the storm gets us. So we're entering this house and I'm quickly closing the door because literally the storm is starting. But just a quick note, they have built it with a view that maybe it will be rented, maybe it will be sold. So you have camera systems throughout the space and you even have a camera at the entrance. So from your phone, it's a smart house, from your phone you can see who's uh, standing at the door and you can decide to open for them or not. We went through the first entrance hall and now we are into a formal lounge seating area. As you step a couple of steps further, you see this massive double volume space, very much open plan, but each room with its own purpose and designation. Beautiful windows. They've used every opportunity to put a window so that you can invite the natural light as well as the beautifully landscaped garden. And then we step through a second lounge area. So first we had the entrance hall, then we had the formal lounge space. Now we are into the TV room or another lounge area. And then you immediately see this gas fireplace. It's nice and central again, and very cleverly designed that it's under the suspended ceiling. So it will warm up the space. The heat will stay into this living space that we're in. So again, a show of the engineering spirit that uh, built that house. From the lounge into the kitchen, and this is a nice breakfast nook, there's in fact six chairs around, so you can even have guests around. Oh no, five chairs, my counting is uh, not great. Loads of cupboard space, and again, a reminder, it's a brand new house, so everything is pristine, everything is in perfect condition and pretty much unused massive Caesar stone countertop. It's a shade of gray, but with a stone effect. And then all your cabinetry is super matte. So very nice, soft and velvety to the touch. And also in a, I would say off gray, beigey feeling. Gas stove, there's also a built-in microwave. There's also a built-in coffee machine, which is a must. And a really beautiful splash back here. It's again, the stone effect picking up on the grace, the beiges of the house. Impressions so far? Really like it. This is one flow from where we walked in straight into the lounge areas, open space, high volume. Love it. Very, very nice. And of course it's a modern house, but they've done some touches. I mean, you've got a touch of a farm style uh, sink here and we also have basin uh, further down towards the scullery section. They've also incorporated a separate scullery and a separate laundry room, all of which lead you out onto a courtyard at the back. And I think here it's worthwhile seeing because really as far as I'm walking we have cupboards. And I'm one of those people, I love catering, I love friends, I love kitchen gadgets, so I can see all my gadgets having a home somewhere here. And then a massive courtyard outside. Interesting door setup. What happened here? Well, this is if you want to lock certain family members away, they can just come and talk to you through the door. I was thinking of a dog outside, but yes, okay, <laughs> I can uh... <laughs> So if you have a doggy, you want to lock them in the courtyard, you sort it. And um, the house comes with blinds everywhere. Oh, not everywhere, but the certain windows that um, is necessary. And I think it's worthwhile pointing out walk-in pantry. 
because if you don't have enough cupboards, if you feel that way, there is a walk-in pantry as well. So plenty of cupboard space. Whilst I'm walking also, we have underfloor heating, which is water-based underfloor heating. So this is the lowest um, power consumption underfloor heating that you can get. It's super efficient. It's um, also very affordable in comparison with other underfloor heatings and it's in the key rooms that you need to be warmed up. You also have air conditioning throughout. If you would just look above you, there's ducted air conditioning in the ground floor and in the bedrooms we're going to see more air conditioning as well. And while I'm walking, we've now entered a dining room or this would be the cocktail mixing lounge area. I don't want to say cigar lounge because it's no longer in vogue to smell to smoke cigars. Maybe it's the vape lounge. Uh, <laughs> It'd still be a cognac area. A cognac there area. Well, go. you can say that. I, I, cognac I, tasting. I'll just say the clip drift and <laughs> rich and coke area. And from there out onto what they've done here is this would have been traditionally your patio area, but they've created an indoor patio that has doors completely opening on both sides and it creates this massive dining room with your braai area, but it can also be closed off and become part of your house. So massive space again, I'm just seeing parties here, I'm seeing family and friends sitting around and enjoying. And then when it gets too hot inside, stepping out onto these uh, stunning, I mean, this is a grapevine above us. Al fresco dining. Al fresco dining, there we go. Natural shade right above us. Possibly some, uh, you know, grapes coming down at some point. This is a relatively new garden. And uh, yeah, you just enjoy nature. You enjoy where you are and you look at your manicured garden. What is really great is the garden is very um, low maintenance. We've got the lemon tree that apparently is great luck. So you have to have a lemon tree and this one is thriving. We also uh, have a lot of succulents here. So this is low maintenance garden and um, quite easy to keep looking amazing and green. Some wild olive trees here going on and uh, going through, you can see, of course, a boma area. I thought you're going to go in and uh, have a seat. Not yet, not yet. I'm going to test it out now, now. But this is nice. Fire pit, boma. But it's a massive, massive garden. Like, with so many of the estates, you find the way the house is situated in the takes away from your garden space. Whereas here, whilst we were outside, we had a lot of space outside for parking. We have this massive garden for your big dog that you're going to be locking in the courtyard when they're misbehaving. And you still have your space for a huge boma. There's quite a generous seating um, going on here. And then your swimming pool. Ten of your friends, five <laughs> of mine. Why ten of my? I would say 15 of my friends. They're all very petite, slender wonders. But this is a massive boma. Very nice. I love the size of the pool as well. Marisha, we've mentioned it before. I think it's a love-hate relationship with pools. People either yes. say, what am I going to do with this? Or it's, oh, I love it. This is just enough to cool down on these hot days. And in it. fact, I would say a few strokes. Not too many <laughs> and not too fast, but you can definitely do some. And stepping back in, and I think you got the idea of the flow as well, because we could step out from pretty much every room in our living space and we are north facing. So the entirety of this house is north facing, which is really great. So let's step back in and I want to actually show you the garages this time because often this question gets asked what the garages look like and these garages is uh, something to be proud of. So there we go. We have four garages. So this is the larger of the two. The other double garage is a standard size. This garage is a double garage, extra length with extra storage on both sides here, as well as extra width. So your vehicles, your bicycles, and you now pointing out also, we have an inverter system, we have um, a few solar panels and a battery. So we don't have to worry about load shedding here. 
So this is garage number one for two vehicles. And a quick look, there is a door next to the main entrance door. And that door leads you to a pretty much self-contained apartment upstairs that we're going to see shortly. Very interesting. It's always nice to have separate access. We are walking on tiles. So the entire floor here is tiles, but wood look um, effect. So it gives you a nice textured effect. It gives you some interest in the color and it picks up from the grays and the beiges throughout the house. And now I'm stepping into the office space. It literally is about to start storming. So we're closing doors but all of this can be completely open out towards the living spaces. And it also has a separate entrance and you have a little courtyard here as well. They've already started the landscaping. They've uh, built cupboard space. They've built storage space here. And if you go around, you'll see a door leading to the next garage. If there's anything that someone watching this can observe, it's storage space. Cupboard space, storage space. I mean, look at this, one, two, three chairs. I mean, a desk, you can work from home. The kids can be here, wife can work here. And not only that, but speaking to the engineer who built this, he also made sure that there was no cabling lying around. And this, you can only see in the house of a perfectionist. They have done it above the desks. I'm so used to seeing those desks with holes in them and we're all going underneath to try and plug in our laptops. These people have thought of everything. And this is now the other garage. And again, it's another double garage. And guess what? More storage. They've incorporated the space under the stairs and they've made a little spot there for your paints and uh, so on. Very, very nice. You Practical. also have Practical. a central vacuum. Forgot to mention, and another storeroom under the staircase. So storage is the name of the game here, but I don't want to take away from the fact that this is an exceptional quality, exceptional finished house with really nice, modern, beautiful, striking lines and a lot of space to display your artwork, which I really love because you have all these walls, exposed walls, nicely lit uh, by all the windows that we've got. So imagine the artwork that will go on there. Bedrooms. We're not finished with the ground floor yet. Yes, I was about to say. So bedroom number five is here. So just around the corner, just behind the cognac uh, space. So your guests can have very easy and uh, discreet access to the bar area. Beautiful. This is a guest room, my goodness. Yes, and you can see this is a queen size bed. It has even a space for a desk, sliding doors leading to the alfresco dining space and to your garden, ensuite bathroom and uh, super high ceiling. So you get this feeling of uh, volume with the room. Great bathroom here with a, a freestanding bath. It really is done up and throughout the house, you'll see the rest of the bathrooms as well. Everything is done with the same attention to detail and quality. All your mirrors are backlit. We've got the same tile going throughout the bathrooms and we have, of course, cupboard space here. And now we are out and leading towards the upstairs section, just one last stop on the ground floor. And then we're gonna head for the stairs. So what I didn't mention is we also have central, central vacuum. So over and above the other features that we mentioned, there is a central vacuum system. So very easy to clean the house, but you can also see it's, uh, it's easy maintenance. I think it's, uh, it's gonna be, well, I wouldn't say easy because it is a big house just under 700 square meters, but it is pristine. I think floors like this throughout on the ground level helps a lot. It's just... Absolutely. What do you think, guys? Is this something uh, you could see yourself live at? A quick look here. I think this was uh, what, what you just heard is 
the alarm system telling you the front door has been opened. So it speaks to the uh, smartness of the house. It noticed that we're opening the door. Oh, welcome, whoever it is. <laughs> okay, so that was the guest toilet. And now we're heading up. The same tiling used quite a solid, very nice and wide staircase with uh, glass balustrading and a touch of steel. So super solid as well and very well lit because we have this massive window giving us the natural sunlight from the one side and another window which is frosted for privacy on the other side. And this I think is a runway style walkway leading towards the main bedroom. Guess what this door leads to? Storage. There we go. Linen closet. Very nice. Look at the view down here. Like a mezzanine type of setup. Very nice. Cool. High ceilings again. We're upstairs now. Note the ceilings, note the shadow lines. And everything is in the same soft colors that we saw downstairs. We're Ooh. walking into the main bedroom. The first <laughs> room. The site, yeah, that, that would be the walk-in safe. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. So imagine the riches you can hide into this size room. Make up the prices that they are today. I would, <laughs> I would probably maybe put something in front of it, you know, so we can't see that the riches are hidden there. But you have a massive safe and we all need that these days. We have music throughout. So there is a sound system built throughout the space. We had it downstairs. I'm pointing it out here as well. I love the fact that they have the recessed ceilings, so that conceals the curtains and they literally just float almost as if from nowhere, like clouds. We see that more often, don't we? Just to actually the recess, it's a small touch yet. Yeah. We both know that it's not a one, two, three to build, but you get the bulkhead and actually have the accent of the detailed work to have that done. Because it's such a nice look when you come into the place, you don't see anything hanging, you don't, beautiful. None of the hooks that we forgot to put on. Yes, it is really, again, quality, attention to detail and access from here to a massive balcony looking out onto the big garden. And then just around the corner, a stunning, super generous closet. There is also a window here. I absolutely love dressing rooms that have a window because the natural light for me just makes all the difference. Floor to ceiling, I can't even touch these things. I mean, this is... And everything is immaculate. Everything is done, all the lines are straight. It's really very well completed, this project. Freestanding bath, a big rain shower, double basins, of course, and a massive mirror. That's a selfie mirror. Not today. Not today. <laughs> The selfie mirrors are also becoming a thing these days, so I wonder where it came from, the keeping up with Kardashians. Sure. <laughs> All right, so we've seen one bedroom downstairs. We've seen the main bedroom. Now we're heading to see three more. I mean, just look at the, the width of the walkway that leads you to the opposite end of the house. I like the fact that the bedroom is uh, private on the other side. Okay, immediately to my left is one of the bathrooms. This bathroom services the third bedroom we are about to see. So each bedroom has its own bathroom. Again, beautifully done. All the bathrooms, they've made sure they have windows, they have natural air coming through. And now we're stepping into the third bedroom, which is big enough for a queen size bed, or in this case they've done to a single bed and you'll notice we've also stepped onto a wooden floor so the floor has changed in the bedrooms to wood nicer softer for walking barefoot in the mornings and um, just a more inviting look when it comes to bedrooms need i mention more storage floor to ceiling. some uh, more windows here so even with the passage we get the natural light and now we are stepping into the separate apartment. So this house has five bedrooms, two of which have been built in such a way that they can be used as one full-blown apartment 
with its own entrance. If you remember, I mentioned earlier on the door right next to the main entrance on the outside. So this can be completely independent, whether we're talking rental or whatever, or each of these bedrooms can be an individual studio apartment. So stepping into bedroom number one, they again, nice and generous in proportions, small kitchenette here with a fridge area, a cupboard space in the desk area, space for a big queen size bed and um, couch. So really a studio. En suite, of course, just around the corner, you've got the bathroom. So if this door is closed, this is its own apartment. We have the same wooden floor that we saw in the other bedroom as well. Very welcoming. I don't want to say the word, but if someone wants to rent this to a student or tuck your um, relative away here with their own kitchenette. So every now and then they have to cook their own food. Why not? You're a teenager in a few years. A teenager will never cook their own food. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> so a little sitting area here. So, I mean, currently they've put a cocktail table here, but you can easily put a lounge. And then stepping into the second one, they're really identical, just a slightly different layout. We have the space for the lounge area, again, queen size bed, and again, its own bathroom. So spacious, Marusha, this is nice. As a teenager, I would love to have this spot. Absolutely. And yeah, I mean, we're under, uh, just under 700 square meters. So this is a large house, but it doesn't feel um, unbearably large. It's not an unmanageable size house, especially because the layout that um, they have designed here allows for certain rooms. So for instance, for this apartment to be closed off completely and just gives the main space just enough size to be very manageable and welcoming and now heading down towards the garden again because it's just so beautiful it's worthwhile having a look i enjoy these open spaces it is so nice coming down from the bedrooms and this is where you arrive come on how welcoming is this and when you step outside so just outside of the pool area and the boma area you really get a feel for how stunning the house design is. And you can even see some of your solar panels. Isn't it amazing that we put so much uh, value these days on having the ability to have our lights on all the time? Yeah, more convenient than anything else. Huh? Guys, what are your thoughts? Talk about entertaining or enjoying big family gatherings. Just like Marusha said numerous times, Big parties here. I love that little setup on that side. Your guest bedroom, which looks huge. And luckily you have the kitchen storage for your gatherings, uh, for all the catering equipment. Yeah, yeah, it truly is. Guys, as always, Marusha's details are below. Make sure to reach out with any questions, viewing requests, and or leave your comments below and we'll take it from there. Thank you so much for your time and have an awesome, awesome afternoon.